No go do me Johnny O oh. I beg you do me Sarah Make I do you a rap I beg you do me Gelly O oh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Sarah, and if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I'm so excited to have you. Yeah, so today's video is going to be a business Q&A. I told you guys to ask me some questions, some business related questions in like beginning of October. We're currently at the end of November, so yeah, I know. Before we get to that part, this video is a collaboration with a brand called Classembo. They were kind enough to send me a bag. You guys know, when I was back in China, I used to do bag reviews, but then since I got back, I just haven't done a lot of those. So they were nice enough to send me one of their bags, and I'm going to be unboxing and showing you guys what the bag looks like. They have high quality replica bag. You can get designer bag with the same packaging and everything at a lower price. So I'm going to leave a link to their website, either in the description box or in my comment section below. So I'm going to be showing you guys the bag that I chose. They actually recommended this bag. They ship worldwide. This got to me via DHL. I already removed it from the DHL bag and everything just to make things easier. This got to me in less than 10 days. Communication was very effective and um, once you place an order there's somebody that's going to be talking to you. They accept credit card and PayPal payment. It comes just the way you would normally get your designer bag. I actually already did the unboxing so I'll just show you guys what to expect. It comes in this paper bag. The paper bag was actually inside so I just it was folded but then it didn't damage it inside that bag inside this bag rather there's a box it just says dior here and when you open it this is what you get oops <laughs> it comes with this envelope that gives you information but you guys should let me know if you want me to see more bag reviews from me because like i haven't done one i think this year yeah i haven't done a bag review this year it comes with this um gift tissue wrap we have the dust bag this is the strap the strap comes protected so i'm just going to remove all of this we have this and i've watched a couple of the reviews i think it comes with another one also i'm going to go ahead to unboxing the dust bag um, and then here we have the bag you guys this is what it looks like so it comes with another strap everything comes protected everything comes covered so you know that your bag is protected i'm just going to take off all the um protection on the bag and show you guys now that i'm done i took out all the protection it wasn't easy to take out i won't even lie to you guys and then i took out some like stuffings inside the bag i know the bag looks really small but then my phone can fit into it so i'll just show you yeah, my phone can fit into it and I feel like any a, a small makeup purse can fit into this Maybe something that has like just your face powder and um, maybe lipstick or lip gloss can fit into this and I'll give you guys a closer look To what it looks like So you guys should expect to see me with this bag more in my vlogs and anyway, I'm going just expect to see me hold this bag more often. I really love the size I think it's so portable and I don't know. I really like it. I just think it's cute I'm going to leave all the details in the description box below or in the or pinned in the comment section below So I have quite a number of questions here. I'm going to try, I'm going to try my best to answer as many as I can. But if I can't answer all of them, we'll probably have a part two. And I'm sure, I'm so sure that after my last video on like my life update and everything, a lot of you have more questions and you guys probably didn't see this question tag. So I'm going to probably have a part two very soon. So let's get to answering these questions first. How long does it take stuff to be shipped from China to Nigeria? It honestly depends on a lot of things it depends on when you order so like if you order around december that's like the festive period just expect your stuff in january because a lot of people usually order during this period because of like end of year sales and black friday and all of that so there's quite um, a lot of problems they're quite a number of problems and your shipment is going to come to you quite fast but then on a normal day if you go for air cargo most most um, delivery or shipping services take seven to ten days by air cargo if you choose to use sea sea cargo i think that's what it's called i haven't used that one before i know that is one month and up is i don't think it's ever less than one month i don't know but then yeah 
I've never used that one, so I don't really know. I just know of air cargo, it takes seven to ten days. Sometimes it will get here on the seventh day, sometimes on the tenth day, sometimes on a bad day if you're not lucky, maybe even on the twelfth day. Top five tips on how to grow your business. Um, I'll say good customer service, consistency, promote yourself, promote yourself shamelessly, promote, promote, promote any way you can. If you have money to run ads, run ads. Quality over quantity, quality over quantity, always, all the time. How many tips have I said? Promote your business, consistency, quality over quantity, good customer service, and I didn't plan this, so I'm just saying things off of my head. Let me see, what, what, what would the last one be? Just always be open to improving your business. Just um, always be open to stepping up your game. So um, let's say you're doing hair business and you used to sell like synthetic hair. Then all of a sudden human hair came out. Don't stick to only selling synthetic hair. Just step up and be, be always open to improving yourself and stepping up your game. Whatever is trendy, whatever people want, you go for that too. Hi Kella, I make I make press on nails and I need your advice on how to promote and make sales. So first of all, I'll tell you guys our page. So if you're looking for press on nails or if you just want to check it out, you might see something you like. It is called Zub Z U B V I E R. So you guys should go out and check her out and support. Help you need you need advice on how to promote and make sales. Um, I'll say just the five tips I gave. I think you should promote yourself shamelessly, um, good customer service, quality over quantity, and honestly, when your um, when your product is good, sooner or later, like your ideal customers will get to you. And if you just keep staying consistent and improving yourself, I'm going to make a video on how I was able to grow my business to where it is. I'm going to make a video on how to get more sales. So, yeah, you guys should expect those videos from me and if you have any questions that like you want me to answer specifically in those videos please leave them in the comment section below how would it go if i sent a set of person nails to you as pr thank you i would love that you guys know i always have nails on i'm currently trying to give my nails a break before my sister's wedding that's next time i'm going to be fixing my nails because i got a bit of nail damage because the last nails i got last set of nails i got were really long so like i kind of messed in my nails so i'm just giving my nails a break right now person nails yes please thank you i would love that how do you get your products to your customers in other states at an affordable fee thank you so and um, the truth is that you can't really control how much delivery is that's totally up to the logistics company you use and um, i'm going to talk about the two i use mainly first of all if you are a business owner you get quite a number of orders weekly daily monthly i'll suggest um registering for like there's always an e-commerce package that they have i know about gig logistics and dhl those are the two i use mainly i'm subscribed or registered to their e-commerce packages so if um, delivery to Lagos is normally like 2,500 Naira, if you have the e-commerce package, yours is going to be like 2,200 or 2,300 Naira. It doesn't seem like a lot of difference, but then when you put a lot of orders together, you see that you've saved yourself a lot of money. Yeah, that's the only way that I know. Another cheaper alternative is like getting somebody in um, a motor park like a driver or something or you can use the drivers that are going to that city by road but then the thing is that you aren't always like sure of the safety of your items but then with dhl and gig logistics like they usually ask you like how much is the value of the item so they put the price and if anything happens you know that you're getting a refund so but then we park is cheaper but then if you go if you go ahead and send stuff like worth hundred thousand naira to somebody to the park and then they lose it or something you i don't get your money back just forget everything so yeah how are you able to keep up with everything i struggle honestly i can't lie to you i struggle i said it in my last video so yeah i think you should, you should watch my last video if you, have, if you haven't seen it but then right now i'm finding a balance i've gotten extra hands and yeah everything is going well and i'm getting back to youtube gradually how can i find vendors on aliexpress for fabric first of all i won't suggest getting vendors from aliexpress i know that i've spoken about aliexpress vendors before but i'll suggest using 
Alibaba instead of AliExpress. I'm going to leave a video linked up um, that's how to find vendors and how to ship stuff from China to Nigeria or any other country. So that video is going to be helpful. I made that video I think like two months ago but then that video hasn't gotten like a lot of views i feel like a lot of people still don't know that i have that video and i really suggest that you guys watch it because most of the questions that people ask me i already answered this in that video that's like how to get vendors how to ship stuff and all of that so i already answered that video in I already answered those questions in that video, so yeah. I would like to start my own hairline, hair business, human hair wigs and weaves. Ad advise me on that. Um, I'll say just go for it. I don't really know what advice. I get a lot of people telling me I want to start my business. Advise me. I don't really know what to tell you guys at that point, but honestly, I'll just say go for it. I have a series i have like a playlist on my youtube channel and it's called becoming your own boss so if you're looking to start your own um business or something i'll suggest you just watch videos from that because i gave i've given quite a number of business advices i've given quite a lot of business advice in all those videos so i suggest you watch them and yeah i have 50 dollars and i need to have three thousand dollars by january 2021 what can i do <laughs> Take an extra job, work harder, take an extra job, um, go to money doublers. <laughs> honestly like i don't know i'm not a money doubler like i can't tell you how to get fast money honestly like except it's a miracle but yeah just work harder take extra jobs and do more yeah how do you successfully run your business um how do i successfully run my business i feel like that's a tricky question how do I successfully run my business? I just how do I successfully by God's grace, honestly, it's just by God's grace. Um I'm consistent with my business. That's one thing. Like I don't play with my business. I don't I don't mix business money with personal money. Everybody in my house knows that. Like I don't play with my business money. Business money is business money. Business money is not my money. I can literally sit down and be broke. I pay myself, don't get me wrong, I pay myself every month. Not every month for every like sale, for every time I sell out, I pay myself. But then business money is business money. Business money is not serious money yeah so i try to be very strict with my business i don't play with my business at all yeah that's just one thing like is i don't i don't give things on credits like even if you're my family member like i have <laughs> Um, like somebody can come somebody that th that is like a family member and they're like oh give me one lip gloss don't worry like if you don't pay I'm not giving you if you don't show me money I'm not giving you I would just tell you like I don't say it in a rude way I just say it in a nice way I'm like oh sorry I don't give on credit like when you have the money you can come and pick it it's always here it's always going to be here I'm always here you have my number you can call me so <laughs> I just try to be very disciplined with my business and I'm consistent yeah 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 if not people will try to play with your head like i learned i think i learned how to be disciplined when it comes to business when i was doing makeup for people because i did makeup I did, I did a lot of free makeup i would do somebody's makeup and you'd be looking bomb and somebody would carry i'll tell you my prizes because that time i used to do three five i'll tell you my prize is three five and somebody will literally give me one thousand naira. some people will give me 500 naira and they'll be like uh-uh have i not tried like <laughs> That was one of the reasons like I don't really do makeup like that again, but then I'm slowly and gradually going back to doing makeup for people so yeah And I have a video on me going back to my makeup artistry thing for you guys coming coming very soon So yeah, how did you let go of the fear of starting a business? <sighs> the fear never really left if I'm going to be honest because there's just that fear, fear of the unknown, fear of not succeeding, fear of not selling, fear of buying a lot and sitting down looking at it in your house. Yeah, there's, no, there's that fear, it's always there. But then, I don't know, like, I don't know, I, I can't really say this is what made me start my business. Honestly, I just used to watch a lot of inspirational videos, videos that just say a lot of good things and good affirmations that just make me feel good about, about myself and telling me that I can do it and <clears throat> yeah. I'm a big believer and practicer of the law of attraction if you guys don't know somebody told me to um, I'm a big manifester I manifest a lot of things into my life I believe in God but somebody said I should do a video on like my man manifestation tips and my law of attraction and all of that so let me know if you want to see a video on that please I believe in Jesus Christ I'm a Christian and thank you very much
So what's your inspiration? Money. Money inspires me. Money pushes me to go and do better. Yeah. <laughs> but on a serious note, um, yeah, money, money. I feel like money inspires everybody. Money pushes everybody to do more. But then, honestly, just seeing that I'm not where I want to be and it's very, very possible if I work hard, if I do more, seeing, seeing that it's possible just pushes me and makes me want to do more if you guys don't know i'm a workaholic and it's something i'm trying to work on because i also need time to like chill for myself and all of that but yeah does shipping cost much and yes shipping is not cheap shipping is quite expensive especially now that dollar is up and the coronavirus rmb is up like when i left china rmb it was i left china rmb was 52 naira her RMB, but right now I bought RMB like three days ago for 76 or more. Like, I remember when it was going up, I bought for 58, I bought for 60. I was like, Why is it going up? Next thing I bought for 65. I was like, and Right now, I bought for 76. Very soon, we'll soon buy a star buy for 100 naira or more. <laughs> RMB has become dollars. It's crazy. Hi, the containers that you use, the vendor printed your name on it or you did it yourself. Yes, the vendor printed it on, like, the, the vendor printed it on my tubes for me. But then I honestly don't recommend that vendor because I had problem with my, and I had leaking tubes. My tubes were leaking. I really have to, like, apologize to people for that because the tubes were just not strong. I got a bad vendor for my tubes which I wasn't happy with but then I've gotten a couple of tubes now and I've tested I've gotten a lot of tubes <laughs> I'm looking at one drawer now that has like different tubes that was like one of the only things that I did not test for my business I didn't test tubes test tubes <laughs> I didn't test the tubes because in my head I was like what could possibly go wrong like with tubes it's just tube it's like saying buy di buying different cups to test like what could possibly go wrong but then I was wrong and yeah I got a I got bad set of tubes but then I'm changing my tubes and um I think the MOQ for printing on tubes is 100 I think I got like is it 300 or 500 I don't even know I got quite a number of tubes and that was why I was able to like print my name on my tubes so I didn't use stickers or anything what happens if your vendor is influent in English you download a translator so you guys can communicate that way Do you pay your vendors before contacting them for materials no you don't you just talk to them and tell them what you want and when you guys agree you pay them i'm just motivated by you thank you so much i get a lot of this you guys tell me that i inspire you and honestly that's the goal like that's just the goal i just want everybody to win i want us all to win and yeah we'll get to where we want to be I just I'm just happy like it makes me so happy seeing you guys telling me that I inspire you I make you want to start something like that's the goal and it's just giving me more ginger to keep doing these videos and keep talking to you guys and keep giving you guys information that you need and yes I will try my best as much as I can but you guys also need to understand that sometimes I can't answer everybody so that's why I just choose to like make these videos so it's almost like I'm talking to everybody yeah some, there are some things that work for me but i'm just not interested in it but and there are some things that work for me but i'm not interested in it but then i don't gain interest in it back so it's just trying to lrc like selling hair like when i started selling there was a time i was selling hair like i was selling my used wigs new wigs people are buying for me that i was getting money from that that was doing me well but then i just didn't have i don't say i didn't have the passion like i just didn't really have the interest in selling hair like hair was just not my thing but then i think i might you may or may not tomorrow if you see me selling hair please just buy it just keep buying some buy it. thank you <laughs> another way you know something that you are passionate about or something that's meant for you is that um when you start talking about that thing they're just passion in you like you just know you just know how to talk about it like you just don't get tired of talking about it and you can talk about it on and on and on for as long as they ask you or whatever so yeah if i order from different suppliers on alibaba will i have separate shipments or can i make them to one um i explained that in my video on how you can ship all your stuff together to come to you so please watch the video on where i spoke about like how to get vendors and how to ship your stuff from china to like any country can you explain how shopify shipping and tracking works in nigeria no i can't explain it not like not because i don't want to i just shopify is quite a lot to explain 
it's not so easy to explain like that and yeah so i think you have to like there are a lot of youtube videos so i can't like explain it straight up but then i don't think shopify shipping works in nigeria no you just have to use like your local shipping method so yeah i'm about to give up on my business how do i stay motivated please don't give up you don't know if it's when you're about to give up that everything will just blow up just keep going just keep being consistent keep promoting yourself but then honestly i would say if you see that one business is not working for you i wouldn't say quit just give it little more time but try to also branch into something else to see how it goes and it's honestly comes down to just trial and error consistency and finding a balance finding what works yeah I would love to have a one-on-one -on -one with you. I'm Namibian. I want to start a gloss and lash business. Okay, so um, I'm working on something that would help me like talk to you guys one-on-one, -on -one, give you maybe coaching or give you guys coaching or answer your questions on starting a business and all of that. So yeah, I'm going to I'm working on that. So if you want to like start your business with me and help me, you want me to help you start your business and all of that yeah give you tips all of that just one-on-one -on -one shot i'm working on that and i'll let you guys know when that is ready but then for the meantime i'll suggest that you just watch my video please how do you pay your vendors that aren't in alibaba i use wechat or alipay and for those on alibaba i just tell them to give me a draft because right now with the rates of nigeria and china it is quite expensive to pay by like WeChat and Alipay because you have to change the money but then when you use like when they draft you like an Alibaba um what's that thing called I don't know what it's called that payment draft or something like that when they draft that thing it's cheaper because I think the bank rate is like 58 but normal people that change is like 76 so yeah how do you own your own lash line I have a video on that I'm 15 and I'm trying to start a lip gloss business that's amazing that's really really good how much do should I save up? Or more. I can't tell you how much to save or how much to start your business with. But yeah, I also have a video. In that video, this video that I'm talking about that I keep referring you guys to, this particular video, I was talking about like how much to start your business with, how you can find vendors, all of that. Like this video has like 3k views but i think like 10k of you guys have asked me <laughs> i'm joking but then yeah like i suggest that you guys watch that video it will help you a whole lot i need your advice also i don't really have friends so sometimes i feel i don't get people to hype it up for me let me tell you something it's not always your friends that are going to support you like of course your friends your friends might just post 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 hype hey my friend is coming out with her business blah 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 after that you're not going to get from anybody we shouldn't just focus on like the first let me tell you something the good thing about your business is that when you start your business like the first set of things you're going to get probably your friends your family your mom your dad your brother your sister your brother's friends that will buy from you but then one thing that you also need to think about and work on is after all those people have bought and they have your products who is your target audience like who are you going to sell to next okay everybody has now okay who is going to buy next like some people won't even say anything to you they are seeing that you have like a business and all of that sometimes you can't blame people because some people honestly just don't have the money to support you or they just don't need what you're selling so it's not everybody that must buy from you or everybody that must post to you i feel like one thing one of the worst things that you can do for the mental health for your mental health when it comes to your business is thinking that um, the success of your business lies in your friends people helping you to promote because he says something like you don't have a lot of friends to promote no <laughs> don't <laughs> let me tell you something even if you have a lot of friends like some people might just not support you some people just don't have the time to be on social media like shouting and saying oh go support my friend and let me tell you something like you might not even get even if sometimes your friends will even post you might not get customers from like your friends posting or anything so i feel like just removing that mindset that um the success of your business lies in the posting or the reposting of your friends no that shouldn't be your mindset i feel like you should also think of like ways to promote your business by yourself personally i want to start a lip gloss business but i don't know if people are going to buy them sweetheart people are going to buy it. it's hamata and everybody's lips are dry tell them things tell them what your lip gloss is about hype your lip gloss to them it's hamata and everybody needs lip gloss so think of all the things that may go right what if i succeed what if i sell out on the first day 
motive just think of it. yeah how do i start up a business without any money i don't have money to start up <laughs> you can't start business without any money <laughs> except if it's something you can do with your hand a skill you, you can offer with your hand yeah maybe but just save money save whatever little money you get save it and yeah you start your business gradually like that do you run instagram ads for your business i ran instagram ads for both my businesses all my businesses yeah i have so yeah there's this thing google my business is that what it's called i don't know yeah i just use quite a number of business tools just to help my name to be out there just to get my name out there just to get my business names out there too there see apart from just the people you know around you you need to work on ways that other people that don't know you people that have never heard of your business people that are if you're in abuja you need to work on ways that people in Portacot, people in Asaba will hear about your business. So yeah, it just I feel like if you want if you want like your business to grow, you shouldn't just limit yourself to your own like people around you. I just I didn't answer all the questions i picked quite a number of questions that i didn't answer just because i feel like i have videos on that there was a lot of how do you ship how do i get vendors i got a lot of that so i skipped most of that but yeah i'm going to leave that video somewhere in the cards or make sure you check that out and i also have a playlist called becoming your own boss yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you have more questions we're definitely going to do this again and we're going to do a part two i'm going to make different business videos i have a plan a list of business videos to make mistakes i think you should avoid mistakes i made and all of that and thank you guys so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in my next video bye Ra. 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 Yeah.